It's not normal to do a full performance on stress fractures in your foot. It's not normal to be throwing up in the wings because you have 104 fever and then do Swan Lake. hope you can't hear that beeping in the background but you know I have to sit down and talk about Simone Biles and what she did during the Olympics this year on my channel if you're new I'm Goldie this is the Lazy Ballerina Club and if you're not subscribed go subscribe like this video do all the things that you need to do but let's just get into it before the Sun goes down and before I have my therapy appointment, which is like the most fitting thing for this video, but let's just sit down and talk about how amazing of a role model Simone Biles is and why every single ballet dancer watching this video or every single ballet dancer watching Simone Biles should take note. If you have seen my videos before, you know I talk all about mental health in ballet and I pretty much talk about mental health in every single video that I've posted. The main reason why I started my channel was to talk about my journey or my experience dealing with my own mental health issues in my ballet career. If you don't know, I left my professional ballet company in the middle of the season to focus on my mental health and at the time it was by far the scariest decision that I've ever had to make for myself, but it was also the most amazing and important decision I've ever made for myself. And the reason why I wanted to talk about Simone Biles today is because, I mean, come on, it doesn't get any more public or important or prestigious than her position on the Olympic team in Tokyo. She is the most successful gymnast out there every single eye is on that girl Simone Biles and the fact that she came forward prioritized herself in probably the most serious week of her life and her teammates life and I can't even imagine all of the pressures that she was dealing with in Tokyo and for her to still choose her before anything else is just something that every single person watching this video today whether you're a ballet dancer, normal person, gymnast, however you found this video, take note of that because that is everything. I have this phrase for the Lazy Ballerina Club and my little tagline is human first, dancer second. When I decided to choose my mental health over my professional ballet company, that's exactly what I was doing. I was choosing me before my job. I was putting myself before a role that I wanted or disappointing my directors or my teachers or my parents or my friends or my family. In that moment, I knew I had to step away and take care of myself because my mental health was not where it needed to be. And at the time, it was terrifying and I second-guessed myself and I was like, is this truly the thing I should be doing? Is it not that serious? Maybe my issues aren't as serious as the other person's issues, so maybe I should stay and push through. And all of those things that we all think about, taking care of my mental health was probably the best decision I've ever made for myself. I know gymnastics and ballet are very, very different, but the situation is very, very similar. The fact that Simone put herself above anything else is inspirational, it's admirable, it's motivating, it's so important for literally everyone that has watched her do that and especially ballet dancers because we have this mentality that the show must go on I must push through this or that girl is dealing with so much more so if she can do it I can do it and at the end of the day you are so much more important than the show you are so much more important than the Olympics or YGP or 
the performance, the competition, whatever you're dealing with, if you are struggling and you feel like this isn't right, you're not feeling it, it's time to take a step away. It's just such a great lesson for every aspiring ballet dancer to apply to their situation because at the end of the day, a job is a job. If you feel like you are not mentally okay, that comes first. The amount of times that myself, my friends have pushed through an injury, have pushed through sickness to show up for their directors or my director or teachers or company or performance is too many times to count. And when you're in that world and you're in that situation, everyone around you is saying that is the normal thing to do. You are supposed to push through. You're supposed to still show up even if you have a fever. You're still supposed to watch class if you have a boot on or a cast or you just broke your ankle. You're still meant to show up to the performance, the competition, the class, whatever it is. And it's so easy when you are in that little bubble where everyone is thinking the same way but you start to think the same way. You think this is the way that we all do it and any other way is wrong or we shouldn't be doing that or it's okay, I don't need to say anything, I'll just push through because I want the job, I want the contract, I want the role, whatever it is. But as soon as you step away from that world and away from that bubble, you start to realize that it's not normal to push through. It's not normal to do a full performance on stress fractures in your foot. It's not normal to be throwing up in the wings because you have 104 fever and then do Swan Lake. It's not normal to do the Olympics where you are mentally unstable in front of millions and millions of people. And it takes guts. It takes guts. It takes courage. And it takes strength and Maybe it might be time to share a story on my channel that I haven't shared yet. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna share it today. I know that's so annoying that I just like teased it, but maybe I'll share it next week or soon on my channel. But there was a situation that happened in my life and with a very, very close loved one that kind of put things into perspective. Came to a situation where I had to choose my performance or my mental health. And in that situation, the choice became so clear. The performance is not important. The role is not important. At the end of the day, you are human before you are a ballet dancer. You are human before you are a gymnast. You are human before you are whatever title you label yourself as. It has taken me a long time to realize that and I still struggle with that and I still struggle with letting people down and letting myself down. But if you can sit with yourself and ask yourself, hey, am I actually okay right now? You are going to be so much better off. You are gonna feel healthier. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna feel good, but it takes courage. And that is why I just felt like I had to sit down and talk to you guys about Simone Biles today because I mean, how could I not? She is just like beyond. What she did was beyond. And again, I know I'm not a gymnast, I know I'm not in that gymnastics world, but I am in the professional ballerina world and we're just as crazy. I have no idea if any of this made sense and I'm not really even sure what my goal for this video is other than to just acknowledge it and to share a little bit of my experience and my struggles and my obstacles dealing with my own mental health journey and the more that we talk about mental health in ballet, gymnastics, work, life, the more normal it will all be. So if you are struggling with a situation of your own or you're not sure if it's a healthy environment or toxic, toxic environment, ask yourself if this environment is serving you. Ask yourself if you feel safe in your environment. All of those questions you can sit with and at the end of the day, you are the only person that knows what's best for you. If you need to walk away from the Olympics in Tokyo, you need to walk away from the Olympics. It's not the end of the world. I say all of this to say, 
you are human first, dancer second. And to all my ballet dancers watching this video today, you come before the role. Okay, girl. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I have about seven minutes before my own therapy session that I have every single week and I'm so excited about it because this is a journey that we're all on and I got some things to work through. <sighs> wow. I love you, Simone Biles. I'm feeling very, very inspired for the future of the ballet world, for the conversation of mental health, and it's exciting. So. I guess that's it. Just a quick little video today. I just wanted to come on here very cash and share what's been on my mind. So like this video, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye guys. It's been really stressful at this Olympic Games. I think just as a whole, um, not having an audience, there are a lot of different variables going into it. It's been a long week. It's been a long Olympic process. It's been a long year. Um, so just a lot of different variables and i think we're just a little bit too stressed out um but we should be out here having fun and sometimes that's not the case i say um put mental health first because if you don't then you're not going to enjoy your sport and you're not going to succeed as much as you want to so it's okay sometimes to even sit out the big competitions to focus on yourself because it shows how strong of a competitor and person that you really are